Attention! All right, you maggots. Code name: American Samurai. Specialty: bladed weapons. Combat style: China Hand. Welcome to GI Joe non-comic book lineup here on GI Joe Month. Okay, I've already talked dived into the darker side and talked about Cobra. Now we're going with the team that can't be beat. That's right, team the Joes. Yo, Joe! Now the rules of non-comic book lineups is pretty simple. I can't you I can use pretty much any characters I want. The rule being I cannot use American comic book characters. I made some modif modifications on the last one. So in honor of GI Joe ones. I'm going to talk to you about some of my favorite, some anime, real life characters, and some other fictional characters that I think would be great members for the G.I. Joe team. Alright, stand at attention, relax, let's begin. First up, for technical expertise, I recommend Lan Akari and Mega Man from Anti-Warrior. I believe those two would work well with some of G.I. Joe's other tech members. And Lan being... Uh, if they're younger characters, I would suggest waiting until they're about 20, 21, somewhere around there before they join the team. But also, with Lan's skateboard, uh, with Lan's rollerblading abilities, it could be useful. Since he would be able to maneuver in spaces that the other Joe's might not be able to. Okay, next up we have Tazu Kun Ano and Ruby Tojo from Recyclist Vampire. Now the reason I chose these ones specifically, I don't think Tazu Kun want Makoto or any others in the line of fire. In fact, I don't think you want Ruby in the line of fire. But, with Skune's abilities, ideally what I have to do is have Makoto hold back unless we need her as kind of a trump card for, um... Basically, with his hair, he's basically a full unit by himself. And Ruby, I believe, her specialty in the Mystic Arts would be useful because Cobra has been known, even has been known sometimes to dive into the Mystic Arts. So that would give us the advantage. I chose Ruby because she's the older of the two witches. Okay, next up, Shinji Kari from Caps Apocalypse. Why did I chose this vision of Shinji? He's more of a fighter, and he has this combat experience, fighting the angels one-on-one, -on -one, and using a gun. As well as the other Shinji, which tends to shy away from weapons are focused primarily on mech combat. Since this Shinji's not afraid to go up to go one-on-one -on -one when he when he tries to call us I believe with training, he could become a very useful soldier. Um, I feel like he would get along very well with Roblox because of his love for cooking, so... Next up, we've got a couple of units that I think would do well in the G.I. Joe group. First up, we have the Straw Hat Pirates from One Piece. While it's a loosely affiliated group, it does have almost that G.I. Joe thing where everyone in the group has a unique job. Also, I believe the female members of G.I. Joe would find Chopper very adorable. So there's that. Also, we, like you would basically... You know, several groups, several members of this group ha would have what would be considered superpowers, which I believe would give them an advantage against some of Cobra's more um, science-based creatures. And with Luffy's group, you've got pretty much a whole unique group. Not to mention, you can imagine, I mean, Zolo has that special sword of his that cuts even when he doesn't want it to, so I mean, that could do some major damage. And, you know, I think if you put Sanji, Roadblock, and Shinji together in a group, you'd have quite the chef conglomerate there. Next up, we're going for live action television. We're going for the classic version of Unit from Doctor Who. I, I could go with the modern version. I think the modern version is too much like G.I. Joe on its own right now. Where they have special m members specially for everything. Whereas the original Unit was like, what, two, three, four, maybe five people counting the Doctor. So I think that version of Unit would actually fit in as almost like a sub-team of G.I. Joe. I think it did work well that group. Um, another team that I think would work well, and actually I've got a couple teams here, another team I think would work well within that group would be the Centurions, because you remember the non-Cobra lineup, I did put down um, a Doc Terror and Hacker, so I feel like the G.I. Joes would be brought, 
or the centurions we brought into that group. And they all have their unique specialties, air, land, sea, and layer, stealth, and electricity. I think this would be a good addition to the G.I. Joe team. Okay. I'm changing one here because I had Doc Savage's team now. I didn't know about Sergeant Savage at the time. Who pretty much is a common He was similar to, to Doc Savage, Captain America, and uh, Sergeant Rock, so I'm counting him out. I do have some honorable mentions here. Uh, Percy Jackson, I believe his skills in, uh, in aquatic combat would be very useful to the Joe team. Also, he'd be the only member of the team if he was put on like, a, a water team that really wouldn't need a scoop suit because of his powers. And the other one I chose was the Whisperer. I chose him because he has, um, well, he's an honorable mention, not like Percy Jackson. I want him because I like the idea of having a police officer and a vigilante on the G.I. Joe team. Because they wouldn't know about... And also, it would be something that would be cool actually because he has a animal man. He has Bro, Bro, Bro O'Brien, the little Scotty. Um, so that would be an interesting group there. Like I said, overall, you probably noticed that I went more for, like, uh, teams or groups. I think I was more in the subset mind at the time. Um... Were there any, any other people I would consider adding to this team? Um, if you could go from Japanese comics, yes, there's a couple um, Japanese comics. There's a couple more I would think would work well in this team. Um, two off the top of my head, I think of right away would. But um, I go with uh, Kenshi from uh, Kenshi Mei Wan Janar because he's had actual. Uh, He's actually gone into a war zone combat type scenario. And with his skills and abilities, I believe he'd do very well. I just think that Joe's would have a hard time handling his harem. And with his personality, he would probably end up playing the few hearts of a few of the female Joe members. I think either they go into big sister mode or they'd want to. Who knows what would happen, hopefully. Uh, the other two I would recommend also for anime is Master Keaton. Was, um, if you haven't seen the anime, I'd recommend checking out. It's, he's. Supposed to be like a history teacher, but he's really good at weapons and he has combat experience. And he's just one of those people I think will well with, with, with the GI Joe mold. And um, I think the last one I'm gonna do, I would say for honorable mentions. Um, I don't know how you get him in there. Would probably be Minato from Sekure, because here's another one where he basically have a whole army upon himself with his group, but I don't think he'd actually he'd want to work for military because of uh, well reasons, and I don't want to blame him but anyways so that's my thought on my non-G.I. Joe lineup, uh, if you guys have any other anime, anime, live action characters, or even small groups that could be like a subsect, a subunit for G.I. Joe, uh, let me know in the comments below, um, like I said, I hope you guys like G.I. Joe month, this is my well, technically it's my third video because I count the fan Q&A as part of G.I. Joe Month, but, uh... Salute! Dismissed, maggot! And remember, knowing is half the battle. Yo, Joe!